From behind the door steps a broad-shouldered man with powerful arms. Oh god, he's a torturer. Bollocks. So just ignore the rack, we got that. And then we got uh, a, a, a man with powerful arms, with a leather apron and trousers, and he's wearing a patch over his left eye. Oh god. This is nice. Right, okay, leather apron, right, sure. Oh my god, what a thing to... What a... The spookiness! After that amazing smooth jazz, suddenly we've got... <laughs> Oh, I love the nose. Oh, he's got a grin. All right, there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, shoots! This is beautiful. So, who do we have here trespassing in our house? Come on, speak up. Have you lost your tongue? What will your answer be? Will you tell him you're trying to find your way out and will be happy to leave straight away, or will you claim to be one of the master's friends? I'm one of the master's friends. I am, I'm just here to inspect your torture chamber, good <laughs> sir. It doesn't look like it's been very kept in very good condition. I don't see anywhere enough mm. poo and blood anywhere. <clears throat> there should be a lot more mess around. Oh, God. Filth. What? Oh, Jesus. This isn't supposed to be a happy place. You must mess it up a <clears throat> bit. Oh, God. What's that knife you've got? Good grief, sir. A what friend you... of the master. I've not seen you before, and I know all the master's friends. You tell him you're new to this house, and this is why you're wandering around lost. The torturer is not convinced by your story, but cannot risk harming one of the master's friends. I'll tell you what I'll do. I don't believe you, but I'll give you a chance. If you could convince me you're one of the master's friends, I'll let you go. But first you have to pass a little test. God. Tie our friend down, lads! <sighs> the torturer's assistants bundle you off into the middle of the room and tie you to the rack! So, do you reckon things are going well? No, I don't think they could be going any worse right now. Right then, says the torturer. Let's see if you really do the master or not. Do know the master or not. Orville here will give you a letter. You tell me the first word that comes into your head beginning with that letter. Okay. If you take the time and think too long about your answer, Dirk will tighten the rack. Got that? Yeah. All right, let's start. Thanks, friend. Each time the torturer's assistant gives you a letter, you must write down on a piece of paper the first word you can think of which begins with that letter and relates to the house. After your test is complete, the torturer will consider your answers and then decide whether or not he believes your story. So you're going to give, be given a letter, you've got to think of a word relate to the house that begins okay, with that letter. I got it. If you fuck up, I'm you're going to be yeah. stretched. I'll be fine. I'll, I, can, to death. I could do with a few more inches anyway. Um, well, speaking of that, uh, the first letter Or Orville gives you is the D. Uh, Dia Diabolus. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, that's good. You've done. That's that's perfect. Okay. Well, probably. I mean, I don't know, but at least you gave an answer right away, and I think that's pretty important too. <clears throat> Next letter, Orville. Orville thinks and says, "Hey, write down your answer." Uh Hey, quick! Asmodeus. Quick. Write it down! Asmodea As Asmodanius. That's that one. Whatever. Asmodanius. As Asmodius. Okay. Something like that, isn't it? Alright, let's hope that's right. Because <laughs> otherwise, you're not going to be very good. You're going to be all stretched. Come, come, Orville. Let's have another. Orville thinks again, and this time says, K! K! <sighs> A knife, maybe, I don't know. Oh, like, like... Chris knife. Chris, Chris! Chris! Sure. Oh, maybe. It might be, there might be a room. How do you know the master's only weakness? <laughs> That's the thing. But <laughs> Orville's now getting the hang of this game and is enjoying himself. M is his next letter. M. Oh, the lady. Morgana. Oh! You're doing, you're doing very well. I don't know if the, any of these are right. Oh, I don't know either. Morgana, like um, in Merlin. No, it's a D. I have the map. Morgana, like not in Merlin. The next letter is S. S. Um, Sheku. 
the um, Sheku. The, 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 yeah, the, the, inky, the, 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 the hunchback yeah. man. Sheku. Sheku. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, Orville, well, I'll do for now. He turns to you. Have you been convincing enough for him? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Over the next five references, some of the answers he would have been expecting are listed. Each one scores a number of points. If you choose one of the words listed, record how many points. Okay, so I'll let you know then. You had, uh, there were two things that would have scored you points here. Drummer. Name of the owner of the house would have given you five. Oh shit! The but, name drummer. But Diablos does give you three points. Okay, three. I got three. That's good. Whew. Okay. okay. It's, it's like being at school and having a fucking homework <clears throat> marked. There are four answers you could have given. Uh, Azazel, Abaddon, Asmodeus, or Apollyon. Oh, Asmodeus God, gives you rooms. three. Oh, okay. Which ones give you better than that? Abaddon and Apollyon. Oh no, no, just Abaddon. Gives you five, does it? Don't know why, yeah. That was the one more Dana of Abaddon. Should have, should have said Abaddon. Okay, oh. Kalnor and Chris. Uh, Kalnor would have given you five. Is that a room? That's the uh, the Earl. Oh, the Earl of Kalnor. No, no, he's Kalnor, the Earl of Drummer. Oh. Okay. But that's, if that's the name of the house. <clears throat> Drummer. Is it the drummer house? How do you spell it? With one M. So it won't be Dreamer. That must be the... He's the Earl of the house, But Chris, Chris does give you three points. <clears throat> okay. Mm. God, this is... This is... Tense, this one. Yeah. What? Oh my god! Drummer, an anagram of drummer. Holy shit. People watching, can you figure that out? What drummer with one M is an anagram for? Fuck. See, I fucking worked it. You showed me that and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's because of, it's because it's like red rum. Yeah. Red rum. You know red rum? Oh, yeah. You know red rum the horse? No. Famously? Well, yeah. Well, from... from um, the Shining. The Shining as well, yes, okay. obviously. So, M. Moderna gives you five points. Five. Wow, that's the best. I am going to win this. Uh, you've done very well. You're going to get an A star. You've done fucking great. Well, no, you're not going to get A star. You're not going to be murdered. Am I not going to get any points but for Sheku? That's maybe better. I will. All right, let's have a look. Sheku gives you five points. Oh, Jesus. My notes have served me well in this game, apart from I wrote, didn't write down the name of the guy, did I? Drama. Drama. I shouldn't write down his name. How many points did you score in total? You scored 19 points. That seems like a lot. Uh, 12 points is all you needed to get the highest. Uh, and the other option is uh, between 8 and 11, and then there's less than 8. So less than 8 would have been bad. 8 and 11, don't know. But you scored 12 or more. So holy shit, you, you breezed through this. Oh my god. That's awesome. Right. God, I'm glad I remembered because of, <coughs> cause it's because of Diablo. I, Asmodeus is a boss out of Diablo Three, isn't he? Asmodan. Mm. That's how I remembered that. This is where then the, the names are all. all you demons. did have to help me with the K. Actually. They both have a similar I source. Got, I wouldn't have got the K without you. My humble apologies. Stam is the torturer. I did not realise you were one of my master's brethren. Can I make amends? Can I help direct you onwards? You can refuse his help yeah. and just leave, or you can ask him how to get back upstairs. Sure. And then that will immediately get you on the ground floor. Oh, right. So you can just leave and say, well, this has been nice, thanks, fuck you, <laughs> and just walk out. So, uh... you want to look under the, s the stairs of the cellar, which means you have to be in the cellar, I guess. If you carry on up the... Passageway, would you get there? Is that the right way to go? I think this might be a secret path. This one, so let's pretend that is. Let's just there. forget his help, get back out, okay? And go back down. We don't need to passageway. immediately leave, we've got shit to do. You leave the torture room and can continue along the passageway. Sure, god damn, where is it gonna go? Right near the uh, back again. The passageway widens into a small chamber. 
Although it's dark, you can see a staircase going up a few meters ahead of you. <gasps> to your right, the chamber opens up into a wide area. You step forwards, and almost immediately, a twittering noise puts you on your guard. Oh, God. Suddenly, you feel something land on your head and dig sharp claws into your scalp. You gasp and swat it away. Your hand touches a small, leathery body and a pair of wings start to flap as it rises from your head. Bats! A number of them are flapping around your head, darting and scratching with their claws. You must add one fear point for the shock, so you lose stamina. I'm going off. Do you run up the stairs, hide under the stairs, fight the bats? It, hide under the stairs, does that go to the door? Do you know what it might Hope. do? I'm going to hide under the stairs. You shelter under the stairs and fend off the bats with your hands. They soon discover that they, can, they cannot get to you. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Um, and they f they flap off back to the corner from which they came. Flap off. <laughs> that's because that's the noise bats make. They don't make really high-pitched no. clicks. They just click, don't they? Mm. It's their echolocation. They just make little high-pitched... Exactly like that. It's weird. It's quite an unnerving noise as it is without it being. Ah! I'm a bat! When all is quiet again, you may decide your next move. Will you head up the stairs and open the door at the top, or will you remain to explore the bat's chamber? I will remain to explore the bat's chamber. We need to find that fucking. Okay. Would you like to look under the stairs? Yes. Yes. That's. Yeah. Oh god! But then we we need ten minus. So under the stairs, what's what is under the stairs? Number. There is nothing unusual under the stairs, although some of the bricks in the wall look as though they've been replaced recently. Minus ten from that. Okay, this is yeah. If you wish to look for secret doorways, <laughs> that's what it says. Ten less. This is the right way. So what number is that? That's fifty-one. Less than six, sixty-one minus ten. That was the right way. This is it. We did it the right way round. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. So I would like to look for secret doorways. Uh, let's see. Yeah. You feel around the wall, wrapping the brick with your knuckles. Your heart leaps as you find a hollow area. You trace it with your fingers, and the area is roughly shaped in the shape of a small door. Do you wish to look for a catch which will open the door, or will you try a password? I will try a password. Oh, shit. Okay. You've got three, uh, four passwords. You I can will choose. try. Okay, give me them, give me them. No, go on. Drew, uh, Druma. Drummer. It's an anagram of that, isn't it? Of mur murder. Murder, turn to page 174. It was Snap. an option. The rock creaks and dust rises as the wall comes to life. A crack appears in the brickwork, and slowly a secret door opens. But to your surprise, the door opens to the one side of the hollow area you found? Perhaps this was merely a decoy. Moments, moments later, the door is opened wide enough to let you see inside. What was the point in that? <laughs> You see a small chamber. Why, why did it describe it like that? With a weird sort of fake out. So it opens a little and you think, oh, it's not a secret. Oh, no, there we go. Now it's open. What? That's weird. Okay. The door opens to one side of the hollow area you found. Moments later, it opens wide enough to let you see inside. You can see a small chamber with a table standing in the center. On the table is a box. Do you wish to enter the room? Yes. This is the this is the master's most trusted hiding place under the cellar. You step into the small room, glancing round to make sure you are safe. You walk up to the table. The rest of the room is bare except for the table and the box which rests on it. Could this be the one you're looking for? It is a handsome rect rectangular box made of wood with brass fastenings. It looks like a case for a pair of dueling pistols. How would you know that? 
That is really oh, yeah, that weird. Looks, that looks like a case that would have a pair of dueling pistols within. But that's like what you've done a bunch of times. This, like, I've got, I've always seen. A, oh, that is a piece of 16th century furniture. <laughs> yeah. You're always like. Apparently, I'm basically antiques roadshow here. Mm. Oh yes, this is from the uh, Victorian period, and uh, obviously. If I was to insure this, I would insure it for fifteen thousand pounds. Oh really? I'd no. never do it was worth that much. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's a lovely thing. Thanks for bringing it along. Oh, it's my pleasure. Oh! Uh, I, I just <laughs> what can't. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> What's that for? Your eyes light up as the lid falls back. <laughs> oh, look at this. We're going we're gonna to cut the lid off. This is fucking nice. He did this before. Do you remember last year with the sarcophagus oh. opened? Yeah. The best. That is nice. And what is inside? The box is lined with red velvet, and there in the middle is a pearl-handled dagger. Its silver blade is wavy, but it is finely polished and razor sharp. Yeah, there's a Chris, Chris dagger. They're like, they're like, um... An inscription on the wooden top reads... Maybe like that. Chris knife. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm drawing. Oh, he's doing it already. He knows what he is. Oh, yeah. A blade fashioned for the glorification and pleasure of the demons of Hellfire are true masters. To be used only by initiates, never to be wielded in the presence of masters. Okay. Right. Because it could kill them. I assume so, yes. So it's... Okay. So it's used... By initiates to do some bidding of the masters, but it can also kill a master. That's a bit inconvenient, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why it's hidden in this ridiculously secret hiding place, the trusted, most trusted secret hiding place. A sense of awe fills you as you pick up the knife. You turn it over tenderly in your hands and then place it in your pocket. For this find, you may add three luck points. <gasps> Holy fucking shit. Wow. You are so lucky right now. I have now got 10 luck. I think I got 11, actually. No, I have down. To, I was down to 7. Oh, yeah, never mind. A l Edits. What? 10 luck? Mm -hmm. You now must decide what to do next. Will you leave the way you entered and climb the stairs to the ground floor, or will you search the room thoroughly first? Do you want to tarry within the secret room, or do you wish to... Continue up to the ground floor. I am not going to tarry because no, I have <laughs> already got the thing I need. Hang I on. don't know where the master is, though. You well, know, you might. Okay. So you want to leave? Just fuck it. <coughs> yes. Okay. Is that a good thing to do? Yes, that's what maybe.